morning, we're learning families around Macon Bibb say they are victims of suspected fraud after their food stamp benefits were stolen. They're sharing their receipts with us, proving what they lost. Fariha Abrar here this morning. Fariha, you talk with several families dealing with this issue. What's even more alarming are the thieves aren't even in Georgia. Break this down for us. Right. This problem didn't start overnight. In fact, as you see here, our teams received several calls from people claiming that their food stamps were stolen since last week. And after talking to some families about the problems they're facing, this is what we found out. It's the talk of the town. I've seen people all over Facebook talking about it. They need to know that we need to eat. We're spending our bill funds on, on eating funds. It's, it's not fair. Life is hard right now, and we need every bit of support that we can get. Keeping families on edge. So I kept checking my car over and over, and I was like, okay, I'm safe. My money's still on there. It's nothing that nobody can do. You just literally have to be in the grocery store or actively checking your car before you're able to realize that all your benefits are gone. Several people reached out to 13 WMAZ to tip us about food stamp issues they're facing. They told us they've never had an issue receiving their benefits, but their deposit this month was emptied from their pockets within hours after it was loaded onto their EBT card. Um, $1,158 was placed on my card on the 13th at 2 o'clock a.m. in the morning, and they was taken off my card at 5 a.m., which left me with 39 cents. I can't do nothing with 39 cents. I have four kids. Everyone is from New York. All of them are in New York. The Bronx, Brooklyn. Have then you been yeah. to New York ever? I've never been there in damn my life. I'm ready to go now, though. Never been to New York. Never. But all these transactions are showing up. I'm ready to get on the plane right now. I'm ready to go up there right now to the deli. All these mothers are facing the same problem suspected fraud. Yeah, think about people that's in the stores and they done check their cards and before they get to the cash register. And they're getting ready to swipe their car, and there's there's no benefits. Went to the grocery store, something said check it again, and it said two cents. And I'm like, it's supposed to be at least 1100 on here, like, I just got a deposit. I should not have to reach out to anybody. If you know this is an issue, there should be some type of insurance or some type of fallback set in place so that way people don't have to reach out. The reach out was us reaching out to you to say, hey, we need help. I never had an issue with um, Forsyth office. I don't know if it's just this office or if it's all DFAT's workers because they're working from home. Oh, well, people work from home. People work from home. People work from home. They're not working from home if the uh, situation not getting uh, seen about. I never heard back. I keep calling. When you come down here to the office, they give you that paper. They be like, uh, you just got to keep calling, keep calling. This is sad. Do better. Do better. When I reached out to the state, they told us that Georgia SNAP EBT cards can be used in other states at approved retailers. But I asked them how many reports of scams or fraud they received this month, and they did not respond in time for this report. Anyone who thinks they're a victim of suspected fraud involving their public benefits should contact the Inspector General at the Department of Human Services. You can call 877-423-4746 or email Inspector General hotline at dhs.georgia.gov.